Hi, I'm Bob Radosi. I'm here in uh, the labs at, uh, at TRS. And I'm going to be going through a variety of uh, tasks illustrating how uh, a voluntary closing prehensor uh, is used uh, in, in a variety of assembly tasks using a variety of different tools. I'm working on a, uh, I'm working on a model here. This is a pattern that eventually we're going to make and uh, utilize and make into a, a tool. But this is just to illustrate the, 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 the bilateral capability of using a voluntary closing device. I have good control over this file. I'm going to use it to, to, to sand and start to shape. This is kind of an epoxy material that we've laid onto this pattern. I'll probably lay on additional epoxy at another time until I get this into a confirmation uh, that uh, gives me the final shape that I, I want for this pattern. But this is again just illustrating how a voluntary closing prehensor uh, allows you to handle, manipulate tools uh, so that I can do this kind of close up and, and, uh, and careful shaping work uh, with, with the prosthesis. Another thing I can do is use a different kind of tool. I can augment and use my, my regular hand to be doing polishing, but at the same time I've got the flexibility because of the of the grip terminal device to handle this with my sound hand and to be doing actual shaping where I can lock, hold, hold, the, terminal, uh, hold the, the tool with the terminal device and do some intricate shaping. I can also engage the Sherlock mechanism and by doing that I've got a grasp on the tool here so that I don't have to pay as much attention, I don't have to maintain cable tension in the system. So I can do intricate work, I can do some shaping uh, in, in ways so I can use my my, my sound hand to, to manipulate, manipulate the pattern to allow me to get at areas that I might not be able to get at otherwise. I'm just going to illustrate again the versatility of a, of a grip terminal device and manipulating tools. So I'm going to be able to do a little tool change out here, uh, inserting a, a little pin through this lock system, grabbing on, uh, and then unlocking the, uh, the chuck, being able to pull out this little tool and replace it with a a sander with a, a larger, a larger uh, diameter to it. I've got control over the, over the tool. I have enough uh, ability to grasp on and create tension so that I can, I can tighten that chuck firmly while I'm holding on. So now I've got a, a functional tool. One of the things I like to illustrate about a voluntary closing prehensor is that I have the potential for a wide grip or a narrow grip hold down, two point pressure. So if I want to stabilize a template like this for using and creating a, an arc, let's say, I have the, the capability of, of doing that. I'm in the TRS prototype shop. I've got a bandsaw here. I'm going to adjust this bandsaw height, getting it up so I have a little bit more clearance and I have a good visual of what I'm trying to do. I'm going to show you how I use a prehensor in a two-handed function to help manipulate some wood in cutting, a, uh, in cutting a, on the bandsaw. So I'm going to reach over, turn on the power, and I'm able to just cut right through. And I use both the prehensor and my hand. The advantage is that the prehensor obviously is not gonna get cut, but I can use it for control and manipulation. I'll do another curve cut here, it's a little bit more intricate. And I'll use the prehensor to help me steer. And do a more complex type of a cut. I use the prehensor also in many cases to shield my fingers when I'm into an area where I'm a little bit potentially in jeopardy. I'll use the, the prehensor to create a, a zone of safety for my hand. I'm here in the uh, TRS prototype shop illustrating the use of another tool. This is a, a two inch wide belt sander. I'm gonna fire this, this uh, sander up and then I'm gonna use it for shaping external shaping in this case. This is a, um, a, a rotor, rotary and oscillating type of a shaper, which is real handy for shaping certain kinds of things. So again, I'm just illustrating the functional use of a, of a grip prehensor to control to control a shaper, control the wood and using a shaper like this for doing either external surfaces like this or internal, internal more concave shapes like that.